everyone, uh, it's Taiwan Hubbard and we're here with a demonstration video for the AquaCure AC50 unit. Uh, this is a recommended product by ours. It has all of our minimum recommended standards for hydrogen inhalation devices uh, and also all of our evaluation for safety checks. Um, and so we wanted to do a setup and a demonstration video with this system. So these are the essential uh, items that you would need for the basic setup for this unit. Um, in the unboxing video, uh, all these um, materials were uh, shipped with the unit and also there were some bonus materials. Now those bonus materials can actually be uh, potentially accessed when you actually go purchase the system through uh, eagleresearch.com um, and uh, they uh, provide access to some of those bonus um, um, items that was actually within the unboxing video as well. But this all comes with the basic uh, uh, purchase of the AC50 unit. So the first thing we want to do um, when it comes to setting this up, you have to mix your electrolyte. I took uh, the liberty of doing that um, beforehand and I already pre-mixed it. Uh, and uh, this electrolyte is uh, sodium hydroxide with pure distilled water. Um, and so uh, once you have that done, then you can start the other process. It normally takes about um, an hour to do. And then after that, um, you can get into the setup. So first thing we're actually gonna do is uh, we're gonna put on our gloves um, to ensure safety when we're pouring in our live mixture into the system, um, our electrolyte mixture into the system. Uh, this, the electrolyte is sodium hydroxide, so uh, the company does provide uh, gloves and eyewear as extra safety um, precautionary measures uh, just to ensure uh, the safety of every client that comes to them uh, because uh, lye, can, uh, lye is a caustic uh, agent and so you want to remove this cap uh, that is uh, for the reservoir and this is actually a drip rag that they provide as well and you just put it around this uh, actual opening to get to the uh, electrolytic cell of the system and put it in your funnel that they provide. And then you just slowly pour this live mixture into the system. It's about 750 milliliters of water. Um, and then it'll need an additional uh, two cups or about uh, 500 milliliters of distilled water to bring it to the actual level that is needed uh, for operation. So we got that done. So the next thing we'll do is put in our 500 milliliters of distilled water. So I have some distilled water here in a measuring cup and I will pour out uh, 500 milliliters of water and then we'll pour this into the unit. Don't need to go up to this. So you just go ahead and slowly pour that into the system. Now the unit, um, when you're doing this, it'll fill the system up to about uh, 70, 70 to 80% full. Uh, and that's where the manufacturer of this device um, recommends it to be. So the next step that we would need to do is uh, put on the tower cap. Um, now this screws on top and this is another filtration mechanism for the system uh, to help to uh, filter out the oxy hydrogen, uh, oxy hydrogen from the live mist that could be generated with the unit. All right. So now we have that uh, installed. The next thing we want to do, um, all you really need is a, a Phillips a screwdriver. Um, for the installation of the, the system or putting the system together, I mean. And so we wanna take off this screw here. 
on the side of the unit. Install this back in place. So now that we have that, we can actually fill up our humidifier and our drinking water bubbler. You would want to fill these to the fill line, pretty much 90% full. Uh, and they both have little indicator lines on them. Um, so we can go ahead, take this off and pour in pure distilled water. It's the only type of water you would want to use for your humidifiers. Now these humidifiers, like I said, this humidifier um, acts as another filter uh, for the oxyhydrogen that's generated, the hydrogen gas um, that's produced from the system. And uh, this is the actual drinking water bubbler. Uh, and this will, um, you know, after 10 minutes or so, of letting the gas bubble into this drinking water bubbler. Um, the water will be saturated with hydrogen gas and you'll be able to consume this water. So it has two uh, little connector points. Uh, one is for uh, the gas and the other one's for the actual cannula uh, that would attach this so you can actually do inhalation with the system. So now we'll go ahead and, and Put that in there and we will open the next uh, tubing that we actually need. And this is the tire cap uh, to the humidifier uh, connection tube. This one has a threaded end that actually uh, gets screwed onto here. So you just screw it on. So now that we have it uh, screwed on, we can connect it to our power cap. And you don't have to push these on too hard, just enough to cause a suction. A good seal, I mean. There you go. Good to go. Uh, the next tubing that you want to use for the setup, uh, and uh, this is the tubing that goes from the humidifier to the drinking water a bubbler. And so uh, the actual end here will connect to the humidifier. And once again, you don't have to push it on too hard, just enough to cause a good seal. And then you will connect this to the small, small connection point. All right, push that on there. Okay. And we will set this, set this up right here. So now that we have all of our, the tower cap, uh, the humidifier mounted, and the drinking water set up, um, the next part of the setup would be uh, your power cord. Uh, so the power cord comes with the system and uh, on the back side of this unit, um, I will turn it around so you guys can see. So we'll take this and we'll set it right here. And we will just flip this around so that you guys can see it. The back side of the system, there is a, uh, there's an AC um, power connection for the power port. Uh, and then uh, we have here, this is an hour dial, and it will um, let you know how many hours uh, your system has been running. Um, and uh, this can help you know when it's time, um, uh, let you know when it's time to actually uh, change out uh, your humidifier, uh, and your drinking water, bubbler water, uh, and also be able to let you know um, uh, when it's time to clean the system. Or yeah, you clean the unit. So turn that back around and I'll go ahead and plug this in and then we'll turn the unit on.
Alrighty. So now what you would want to do is you can take out your cannula, your nasal cannula. Open that up. And you can install that. when you want to breathe or do inhalation and we'll turn on the master switch on the front side of the system all right and once we have this turned on uh, what you'll see here is the timing circuit uh, this allows you to select either from 10 20 30 or 60 minutes uh, for your inhalation session uh, and so we'll just go ahead and turn it on and put it on 30 minutes and once you turn it on uh, it will begin to produce hydrogen uh, gas or oxy hydrogen gas um, and right now uh, it is running at 40 percent of capacity that's its duty level um, now uh, depending on the person they have recommendations for um, what this level should be set at based on your body weight uh, and that can be found in their manual um, and over here we have a uh, display for your reservoir um, showing, uh, indicating, the, indicating the reservoir water level uh, for your system. And it has two indicator lights. One would be the low, this is the indicator um, light and alarm that will go off once the water gets too low. There is a over full indicator light that will go off once um, if the reservoir is over uh, full if you fill it too much and then you have a gas production indicator light that'll let you know that um, the oxyhydrogen is being generated. Um, here are two buttons that allows you to be able to change um, the actual capacity this device can produce. So we can go up let's say to 60 and it will generate more oxyhydrogen um, for inhalation. Uh, and that is uh, the basic setup and demonstration of the unit. Um, when you want to go ahead and run through your session or turn it off, you will push the master switch button. Other than that, you can put on your nasal cannula and you can uh, do inhalation with the system. Once again, this system has uh, passed all of our minimal recommendation standards uh, and our safety evaluation checks. Um, and uh, we've done extensive uh, testing on this unit and uh, done extensive uh, communication with the manufacturers of this system as well to ensure that uh, the device is safe and is going to be, be able to produce the levels um, in which we uh, have seen throughout scientific studies to be therapeutic uh, when it comes to hydrogen inhalation. So, oh, one other thing before we wrap this up, um, there is a continual mode uh, functionality with the system to allow the uh, oxyhydrogen production, the hydrogen gas production uh, to continue to run continually. Um, uh, and so to activate that mode, you would actually want to hold down the 60 mi minute uh, button on the timer switch for five seconds and this indicator light will turn red. Once that indicator light turns red, uh, you know that the system is in its continual uh, function mode where it will continue to produce the gas. Other than that, I think I covered most, if not all the bases, uh, for at least the basics uh, for this demonstration setup video. So we will catch you next time uh, at the H2Hub.